Well, you know, yes, I am. I was born and raised in Guadalajara, Mexico. Uh, my father was American, Italian. Uh, so I came to Chicago 10 years ago. And, and my history is working in economic development. But I do have a master's degree in Chicano studies. So I see the social side of the issue. So, so I, I can connect with people in the University of Colorado that did not necessarily business owners. So I, I think I bring a, a perspective of both sides of the table because people seem to think businesses are the bad guys. Businesses don't care about the community, but I see it the, way, or the other way around. So, uh, you know, I think uh, my experience and my life has, my journey has, has prepared me to be in this position, which is the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, that I, that I need the listeners or the, you know, the viewers to, to know that we are one of the largest chambers in the country, you know, in, in, in personnel and in budget and in programming. So it's because of my life experience and, and the support I get from the board of directors. You've been here for 10 years, and, and uh, I'm curious, when you came, a, a, lot, a lot of what we're talking about now in, in regards to the country is the uh, political climate. Uh, I think it, it, it not only in recently, but I, I think in earnest with the election of Donald Trump mm-hmm. and this continuous divide uh, of Far left and far right. Um, now we're about to. We're, no, well, we're, we are in the next presidential s- cycle. Next year, we'll be electing another president. As someone who's come from abroad and and kind of lived through um, Obama and then Trump, and has seen sort of this change in the last ten years politically, um, do you see it as a? Is the is the political climate? A detriment to um, Latino businesses and and other businesses, or is it? It doesn't matter. It's really about the economy. Well, it is about the economy, but you know we need to find a common ground here. I mean, this this you know people seem to think the Republicans care more about businesses than Democrats. That's not true. We got to find people in the middle that can help us. That can help the both agendas. At the end of the day, that that we lost that you know, from many presidents ago, even, you know, Obama kind of was in the middle a little bit, but then Trump came and everything became like either left or right. There's no in between. So we got to make sure we, you know, in the next election, we we elect someone is going to be, is going to help everybody like in the middle, right? Because we care about families. You know, the, you know, the, the Republicans claim, oh, we, you know, we, 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 the family party. Well, no, Democrats care about family too. So it's, it's, you know, it benefits all to, to come, find common, common ground. The other thing we talked about that, that I think is pointed, we, we, we've talked about examples for the Latino community when it comes to not, uh, not only small businesses, but also pushing our, our agenda. And we talked about the African American community and, and, and what they've done in regards to politically, uh, economically, culturally. We talked about the Jewish community doing the same. And one of the things that you said that was really interesting that you do that I, that I think is really important and we need to do more of is investing in our own businesses where, yes, you know, you don't, you won't go shopping to the big stores. Mm-hmm. You'll go to a, a local store and they might cost you in a, a little bit more, but you're investing in, in these community anchor businesses. Tell us about that. Well, you know, I, I, I believe that the small businesses are the anchor of the, of the heart of the communities. If the, if the businesses go from the communities, the community goes. And we've seen case in case, you know, like, for example, in the south side of Chicago, it's a food desert. If you, you, you heard about the crime, it's because of that. We have no anchor there that's going to unite the community. And normally is, is, is the business. For example, Little Village, right? Little Village is what it is because of the business culture there, right? So in my, my example, I, I, I love to shop local. I, I, I rather give my dollar to a Latino than anybody else. So I go out of my way to, to go for a cleaners, for example. I drive 10 miles to take my suit to a Mexican cleaner because I, I think that guy deserves my dollar, right? Instead of somebody else. So I encourage people to shop local. Uh, when a small business grows, the community grows with you. 
Uh, it's, it's a known fact that when a small business in the community hires, they hire within the within two miles within the business is located. So the more money people have in their pockets, the more money they're going to spend in the businesses around that area. So it's key the support of people to support small businesses. The big box stores, you know, the big W, you know, those guys, they're going to be fine. But, you know, make sure you support small businesses. And I'm not discouraging you to go to the big stores, but, you know, if you, if you can find it in your neighborhood, Buy it there. You know, you you might you know you might be talking to your neighbor as the cashier. How cool is that? You know, you talk in neighborhood gossip, right? When you walk into a business locally, you don't get those in the box stores. Mm -hmm.